Hello, we're answering questions on sexual health. I'm joined by Dr. Catherine Hood. Hello. Hello. Catherine, we've got a question here um, from a woman who says she's trying to conceive, but how can I tell when I'm ovulating? Okay. I think the first thing to say is that um, you know sometimes it's not as easy to conceive as many people think. That, you know, if you watch films and television, you probably think that one roll in the hay is enough to get you pregnant. Well, it's, it, that's not the case. It can take normal couples up to a year to actually uh, achieve um, pregnancy. So I think that the first thing to say is don't panic. Obviously, it's important to know when you're ovulating, and that's when the egg is, rele is released from your ovaries and around that time, sort of 48, 72 hours around that time, that's when you're most fertile or most likely to get pregnant. Now, a simple guide is you tend to ovulate 14 days before your period is due. Okay? Uh, and that's if you're a regular period person. Exactly. Now, this means if you have a regular four-week cycle, it falls in the middle. So at about day 14, if you count day one as being the first day of your period. Now, if you have a five-week cycle, then it's day 21, because again, it's two weeks before, so it's not quite in the middle. And I think that's where a lot of women So, so it's 14 days before, not 14, 14 days, days after. That's exactly, when. yeah. 14 days before your next period is due. Now, that all sounds terribly simple, but a lot of women can't predict it that, that closely because, because they have slightly irregular periods that you know, vary from month to month. So you must write it down, mustn't you? Get hold of a diary, yeah. write down when your period was, and then you can kind of count And you can forward. kind of work it out. But, but it, you know, if you do have an irregular cycle, that can be quite difficult. And to, to be honest, the general advice is have sex every two to three days throughout your cycle. <laughs> that way you're not going to miss when you're most first But we both this. know, don't we, that when you're trying to conceive, you know, it beco you can become <laughs> obsessed about when am I ovulating and you can buy these yeah, kits, a can. bit like pregnancy mm -hmm. tests. Talk us through how those yeah. work, because they're quite I mean, easy. These, these basically detect a hormone in, in the urine, it, which um, is one of the hormones that triggers ovulation. So when that hormone rises, you know you're going to ovulate in the next 48 hours. So you get a little line that says, this is, this is the time to have sex. And it's a stick that you just go to the loo you and you just put it under your it. urine stream. Yeah. And it tells you. Yeah, and so you just pee on it. Now, you know, for a lot of women, that's great. A lot of women love, love using it. But I think the downside sometimes is that it, you know, it's very stressful trying to get pregnant. Uh, and sometimes over looking and doing mm. too many things actually adds to the stress because then you pressurise your partner into having sex now and it, it can cause it can a little a bit of, of, of friction. It? So great for some women, for other women, just sex every two to three days throughout your cycle and that, you won't miss the time. That is definitely the best advice. Doing it, of <laughs> course, can <laughs> harder. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> well, if you have a similar problem, we hope we might have given you some help. But remember, it's always best to go and see your own doctor for medical advice. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more health questions and answers.